Hi, my name is Dan Bystrom. I'm a hardware development engineer for Tell Labs in San Jose, California. Tell Labs manufactures communications infrastructure equipment. The particular group that I work for manufactures high speed routers and switches that make the internet and the telephone system work. Now, you can't find this type of equipment at your local electronics store. Rather, this type of equipment might be found rack mounted in your local central office of the phone company or the switch room of your internet service provider. As a hardware development engineer, I'm responsible for developing circuit boards and FPGAs. I also work with our mechanical engineers for packaging issues, and I work with our external consultants that help us with high-speed signal routing and the actual layout of the circuit board itself. My interest in computers started a long time ago, back uh, when I was in high school, actually. I received my first computer as a gift, and I wasted no time in learning how to program. I had a real interest in the way that the hardware and the software of the computer operated. My first programming project was a VT100 terminal emulator for the old dial-up bulletin board services. The internet wasn't as prevalent as it is today, and dial-up bulletin boards were the big thing. There also wasn't as much software available, and so I had to write my own terminal emulator. I remember learning about how the VT100 terminal emulator worked, and then proceeded to write a program and actually finish the project, and it was very satisfying to be able to use it in the real world. I also took on a project to build my own computer, my own IBM type PC from scratch. I went out and bought the motherboard and the power supply and case and all the components and put it together. That was also a very satisfying uh, project to do. I had a real interest in how both the hardware and the software of the computer worked. And one of the other things that I did uh, from a hardware standpoint is I remember writing uh, some software and building a little circuit board with some relays so that I could have the computer turn lights on and off in the room. I think my interest in computers really helped me a lot with my engineering studies at Pacific. I found the courses that involved uh, computer technology, whether it was programming courses or actual uh, computer hardware type courses, to be both interesting and a lot of fun. And that uh, took a lot of the pressure off from some of the more complicated courses that I had difficulty with. Today my professional interests are in the areas of programming language and circuit design. I think my programming skills help a lot for the development of uh, field programmable gate arrays, or FPGAs as they're known in the industry. These are integrated circuit chips that contain thousands or even millions of transistors uh, and logic gates that are programmed to create a digital circuit. And this is done using software languages known as VHDL and Verilog. The procedure is very similar to what you would do to write a program for your computer. But the difference is, is that you're actually translating the software into digital circuitry that resides on a chip rather than a program that's executed step by step on your computer. One of the great things about the engineering profession is that you are able to align your career path with what your particular interests are. And I try and do that in my own professional career. And I think as a hardware engineer, it's a great opportunity to uh, work with both of my uh, skills in programming language and circuit design. And finally, I'd like to mention that I think anybody that has a curiosity about how things work will be successful as an engineer. If you're curious about computers, um, it could be either from how they work from a hardware standpoint or if you really enjoy programming, you're well on your way to uh, becoming a successful engineer. One of the things about engineering is that it's a very fast-paced career and it requires constant learning and keeping up to date with technology. And if you have that natural curiosity about how things work, I think staying up to date will be very beneficial to you. I remember when I was attending uh, University of the Pacific and studying engineering, certainly my strengths were in the area of computers and programming languages, but I also felt I was a little weak in the area of mathematics. I found the courses in mathematics to require a lot of my studying time, and it was difficult, um, but I was obviously able to make it through. But just as I got in, more into engineering, I found that uh, the actual mathematics that is applied in engineering isn't the type of mathematics that you might learn in school where it's very theoretical. It's more of an applied type of, uh, of situation, which uh, made it a lot easier on me and actually made it more enjoyable when I was able to see that I had an engineering problem that needed to be solved and I could use mathematics to actually solve that problem rather than just solving integrals or differential equations for no apparent reason in a class. If you're thinking about a career in engineering, I think it's, it's really a great field to be in. 
not only is it is it very challenging and interesting because you get to work with the latest in technology and keep up to date with all of the things that are going on, but you're really also making a contr contribution to society in developing technology that people are going to be using on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think it's a, it's a very challenging career, it's a very interesting career, and I think that uh, certainly it was the right decision for me. My studies in engineering at Pacific, uh, I think, really helped me to realize that engineering is the way that I wanted to go. Um, certainly the classes that I took later uh, in the curriculum with uh, the uh, hardware courses and the computer courses, really it was a very exciting thing and it made me realize that I'd made the right decision for an engineering career.